Just landed in New Orleans, first day of emancipation, big day of meetings, uh, right off the plane to the production office, okay? That's how I do. All right. making this movie. This is our last job. Day one, we are currently an hour and 15 minutes behind. Headed to set after the rain delay. We're headed back to set. See you around. This is haunted. What's going down? Six hour rain delay on the first day. It's like the ghosts of the Confederacy. Adversity from the grave. Background. Action! So what just happened? Uh, we have a lightning delay, so anything we need to clear the set and uh, seek shelter. Let's go in we have another 30 minutes because of lightning strikes. And he said, are you kidding me? <laughs> Rip this wig off. <laughs> no. No, he was just kidding. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, this is a leaky freaking yeah. situation on in there. Started again. It just started raining again. Every time there's a, a lightning strike within five miles, they have to hold for 30 minutes. And then if it strikes again within that time, it, it starts over. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. We're going to be on French hours on this. It's like a plastic bag, right? You want to get under here, Jazz? Uh, no, I actually, know. you know what? Yeah, no, you're good. I, you're I, good. I'm going to get a video of you walking the Okay. Room. 30 minute lightning break. I'm not sure about that rule. I guess I'm not sure about that rule right up to the moment that I'm positive about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True that. Come in. If you come in, he does this. He said, "Ass down, boy." Peter gives him a look, which tells him this is this is not the same type of man. Copy. Here we go. Rolling. Background moving. Ass down. Ass down. Take. We're going to introduce an explosion. That's ridiculous. It's broad daylight. So 
when we were on the set. Lightning. 30 lightning, minutes. 30 lightning. minutes. <laughs> this is horrific. Going back. Lightning. So we were on a 45 minute, 30 minute break because of um, heat. So we were in a heat break. Then the heat break was just over. We got called back and then lightning struck. Now we're on a 30 minute lightning break. We're making the heart of darkness right now. Yeah. The making of apocalypse now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> End of week three. How you feeling? Probably two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Counts as week two and a half. We're probably two weeks behind, legitimately. Like seriously, not even joking. We're probably two weeks behind at the end of week three. Out of the frying pan into the fire, the swamp's gonna be a mess. I don't know how Judy's gonna survive. I drive in every environment. This is a real location. Don't touch that food. That's poison. You think it's poison. Yeah, but you have to do that on it. Okay. You can have all this nature in Philly. It's a little bit too much nature for me. Are there any snakes in here? What? I thought you said there weren't. Louisiana small. No snakes, no gators. It's sitting on you. <laughs> Action. 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 Swamp is the right word for what that is. It's a swamp. Can we dull that a little bit? I can take the tip down as much as you like, sir. Yeah, that's right. We're going to do the head under part. That's for the scene with the, with the uh, alligator. So they rebuilt that section on stage. So there's gonna be the stunt with the alligator attack and all of that, so they rebuilt it. So I get to do my Apocalypse Now shot with my head under the water. Spiritual practice. That's how you gotta embrace the universe, yeah. you know. Whatever the whatever the universe deals you, you say. Okay. okay. Wasn't expecting that, but Thank sure. You. How's that? The movie will never come out, but the documentary about how horrific the process was is gonna be number one. You have to laugh to keep from crying, Jazz. Not that I would cry about a movie. We're headed back to the set on the behind the scenes entitled The Ghosts of the Confederacy. How emancipation was cursed and never released. Like five miles away, all through the document immediately. We're wrapping for the week now because a hurricane's coming. So we had lightning shutdowns, heat shutdowns, COVID shutdowns, and this is our first hurricane shutdown. Everything that could possibly be happening to keep this movie from getting made keeps happening. So we've had four <laughs> lightning shutdowns and a hurricane shutdown just today. Yeah. I believe personally it's the ghosts of the Confederacy. The ghosts of the Confederacy didn't like that too much. That cloud doesn't look too okay. That looks gnarly.
this movie's been quite a, an undertaking. We're back today. One day of shooting after the hurricane, and we are 10 weeks behind schedule right now. I don't think I've ever been in this position in my career before. <laughs> Never quite been here before. In, in Hinduism, they call the material world Maya, right? So Maya is how you describe the behavior. It's, it's a female deity, basically, she's a trickster that throws stuff at you in the material world. And she thinks it's funny. And she's undefeated. Rolling. Background moving. Part of the reason Antoine wanted to come to Louisiana is because it's where the story actually took place. We were gonna shoot in Georgia decided to switch and come here and shoot from some of the actual locations. Yeah, it's funny as an actor how, how like, set and wardrobe will, you know, fill you with the spirit of it. The voices are in the trees, you know, it's like, you can feel it in the soil. When you're telling a, a true human story, there's a, a power that you draw from the meaningfulness and the purpose of what we're trying to accomplish. And as, as difficult as it was, we all felt missionized um, in a way that is very rare in, in this business. History was they would do, uh, they would clear three plantations a day. They said black soldiers were lazy and weren't smart enough. You couldn't give them guns because then they would just kill anybody. You know, so to be in sync, regimented, disciplined soldiers marching, taking the plantations. played Amazing Grace just to get everyone into the mood. What we're doing here is more important than just the movie. Every one of you guys playing a soldier is playing somebody real, somebody who really gave their life. You don't get to make these kind of movies that often, about something real, about something that really matters. This is a devotion to the people that fought and died for the right to uh, pursue our happiness. It was supercharged and yeah, it was one, one of those moments uh, I uh, will not soon forget.